show me how you do it. You push that button first, yep, and then talk. Hi, this is Porter. Foxtrot Delta Niner, are you ready for adventure? Yes, I'm ready for adventure. Do you guys hear that? What? The sound of silence. It's the sound of nature. And it smells wonderful. It just smells like outside. It smells like fresh. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely no Grand Canyon. We should have been in the Grand Canyon with an RV enjoying spring break. Here we are at the... Meadow Lava Tubes. Lava Tubes. This is in the middle of nowhere. So this right here and several other hills like this used to be old volcanoes erupted. I don't even know how many years ago, but all of this dark black rock is lava rock. Yeah. And when it cooled, the hot lava flowed out from underneath and made these tunnels. So we're going to go explore some tunnels. And just to clarify, I don't know what other countries or even states say as far as isolation. I've had a few comments while we're outside. Mm -hmm. People saying, Jill, you need to stay inside, self-isolate so you save lives. We have not been told to stay in the four walls of our home. It is okay to get outside, get some fresh air. We are not bringing other people into our circle of people. We are staying socially isolated from other people. We aren't touching equipment, things. And so getting outside, getting fresh air is okay for us to do. We are staying safe and keeping others safe as well. And I think that this is the cutest picnic. Look at you kids, I just think you're so cute. And Let's go. <laughs> See? Where'd it go? Dad's flying the drone. And Lucy says, where'd it go? This is exactly what my kids needed, is to get out and run around. Does it look like there's any caves right here? No. Any tunnels? Yeah. There's a little teeny hole right up there. Think we can get into it? Oh my gosh. Be so careful. Cooper, Porter, slow down just a little bit, Kay. Whoa, look at that little cave. Into the cave of wonders we go. Back here. Oh, uh, I have to, but this is so cool. Yeah, I need my flashlight. Flashlight on your walkie-talkie. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Good job, explorers. Why? <laughs> you get that? Oh yeah, you licked her face. That's what moms do. Lick the peanut butter and jelly off. She's sticky. I have no wet wipes, so I lick her face. Nice. <laughs> Y'all mean? Yay! <laughs> Only a mom can do. Is there a way out of here? I think I see some light. Oh, it's a good thing you got a flashlight, Porter. Oh, I see some light. Oh, this wow. This is tricky. I don't know if the camera can do it justice. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Okay, what, Lucy? It's a good thing I'm not pregnant. <laughs> or are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you took the easy way around. Yep. Got the best view in house, though. What are you looking at? Nothing. So we're inside the volcano right now. Just the tubes that they formed, yeah. Okay, just the tubes. <laughs> Light at the end of the tunnel. Good job, guys. You made it through the Finally, first tunnel. It's free. Good job. Good job, Lucy. Come here. So you see these caves are a lot like COVID-19. Dark, scary, unknown. We're not, un we're not sure what's going to happen. But then there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It will all pass over. Where are you guys going down in there? Wherever it leads to. That's about as far as it goes, huh? Porter, come back, please. Thank you. 
Okay, the kids are scoping out their rocks to take home. They're each going to take home one rock, and it cannot be that big, cannot be that big. Can be. That's even too big. A small enough rock you can keep on your lap in the car. This? Perfect. It's crazy how flat all of this land looks, and to know that we just climbed like underneath the ground. Crazy. And we're walking over caves right now. Hello, Tuba. What are you? I love you. I love you. What are you? Come here. Hey. Stay there. I'm going to help you. Melt my heart. Did you hear what they were saying to each other? Porter, I love you. Or, no, it was this. Porter, I love you. I love you too. Oh. Oh, that one's too big to pick up. There we go. Oh, you made it. Are you kidding me? Is that like a for real tunnel? Yeah, it goes to there and then it goes to over there. Okay, see you later, Gator. Hey, come on. My name's not Gator, but... <laughs> come on, Daddy, Adam. You know, Daddy? This is nuts. Like, it just... You just disappear. Come in, Dad. See you later, Mater. Careful in there. I'm not being careful. I'm just being careful. Okay. So that's where they went in. They're underneath the ground right here. And we'll see where they pop up here. I think I see. Oh my gosh. Going. For real? Yeah. Hey, where did you come from? Uh, from the caves. <laughs> this is crazy. How did you guys find that tunnel? Oh, I found it actually. Do you know what the fancy word for, for exploring caves is? What? Spelunking. Can you I'm say gonna that? go spelunking. I'm gonna go spelunking. Okay. I'm uh, a little worried about this tunnel, this cave, but have We've fun. We've already been through it and it's so cool and so fun. Okay, have fun, kiddo. Porter, do you hear me? Come in, Porter. Porter, where are you, buddy? Do you hear me? I think we lost him. He's a goner. Porter, do you hear me? Come in, buddy. Come in, buddy. Where are you? Come in, Dad. We found a way out from this one. But we need help a little. Okay, I'm on my way. Porter got hurt. Uh-oh. Make sure he's okay. I'm coming in. You okay, buddy? While I'm waiting for them to come out the other end of the cave, if I'm being 100% honest, I am actually really glad we are not at the Grand Canyon right now. I would much rather take a few feet of a drop than miles of a drop. I've never been to the Grand Canyon, but to me it sounds a little scary with that huge cliff. And I think the kids are enjoying a little bit more freedom than they would at the Grand Canyon where I would literally hold them with my life. Lannon just said that he had to belly crawl some that of that. Tight. You little kids squiggle, uh, no. squiggle through that, no problem. <laughs> Would you prefer this or the Grand Canyon right now? Probably this. That's what I just said too. Because the kids are, can't fall off cliffs. Well, they can, well, I mean, but it's this not is just a few, few feet compared. Yeah. Go, where did go? Where did go? Where did go? The thing that flies, where did it go? She's talking about the drone. The thing that flies. Where did it go? What? It went away. Dad put it away. Where did it go? It was flying. She is talking so much. Where did it go? It went in the car. Hydration is key when you're out in the desert, isn't it? Good thing there's a one-way valve on that so we don't get back flushies, huh? Oh, nasty. 
I hate sharing water with kids. Even though I just licked her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Did we find a deep, dark, secret cave? Yeah. This thing is nuts. It just keeps going. No <laughs> lights, just our flashlights. Why didn't we think to bring flashlights? My dad would be so disappointed I know. right now. <laughs> Why? Kay. Because he's given us so many Cause flashlights. Because Grandpa's given us lots of flashlights. Cooper, stay by us so you can see where you're going, bud. Mom. He's just a fearless explorer. If any of you are wondering where we are exactly and if you want to come try this place out, we are in Fillmore, Utah. It's about two hours south of where we live. I'm out of breath. Lannon said, do not come here in June because there are rattlesnakes galore. And I would not want to be bit by a rattlesnake. So, okay, so this is cave number, what, XYZ. And we are going underneath the road. There's a road right there. And we're going underneath it. Good job, Lucy. Ow! Good job. I think I broke my toe. Really? Dad, wanna go out to Destiny or go that way? Caves the better. I'd say stay in the cave. Come on, get out to destiny. Alright, so there's cows next to us. No big deal. Oh, hi there, little We're boy. We're having a stare off with the little guy. He's standing there. Aww. Who's gonna win? Get out of the way, little buddy. <laughs> Great job on that mooing. <laughs> Alright, roll up the windows. We're gonna have a mooing contest here. Another mooing contest? Okay. Yeah. I moving. think I won the last one. We have done a moving contest before. It's been about two years. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you have to keep that in. <laughs> okay. Ah, this is like it. Okay, Emma's turn. <laughs> All right, Cooper, your turn. Good job, that was good. Order. What was that? An owl or a cow? <laughs> All right, Dad's turn. Well, that's what I was trying to go for. How dare you buy one ice cream cone when we have four kids? They can share. We have one ice cream cone for four kids. You can only imagine how this is going to go down. <laughs> They're not doing terrible about sharing, but I've heard a little whining. Lucy hasn't had any yet. <laughs> She's so sweet. You kids were like perfect today. Like I didn't hear any complaining or whining. A few scrapes and bruises. Who all got scraped today? I Lucy's knee got scraped. I didn't get scraped. You didn't? You got a little scrape on yourself. Cooper, I think you came out like perfect then. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look how messy this car is! It's either clean up the van or clean up an RV. RV. It would have been an RV, but today it's just the van. So we are going to clean this up. Landon is filling up with gas, and when we get home, we've got a buttload of stuff to clean up, don't we? Oh, look how clean you look! Cooper said that he used mouthwash for 30 seconds 
I can't even do 10 seconds. That stuff is spicy hot. You didn't swallow anything, did you? Okay, yeah, never swallow the mouthwash, okay? Why? Why? Because it's not good for your tummy. It makes you sick. We are gonna wrap this video up, call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with us as we toured the lava caves. It was a super fun day, and I hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine, and we will see you guys in the next video.